Yeshiva World. I certainly believe that keeping our city is an important responsibility. We should all take it seriously. I take it very seriously myself. That's why I sponsor the council's most popular initiative, NYC Cleanup, which pays out $5.3 million to clean the streets of every single council district. And nobody has done more than this council to improve the environment, and I'm proud of that. I voted for all those bills, and I voted for the ban on the styrofoam, and I even drive an electric car. And I applaud the intent of this bill, and I think we do need to reduce plastic bags. I just think that we're going about it in the wrong way. I don't believe that this plastic bag tax is going to result in a significantly cleaner New York. I think that the marginal benefits that it achieves will be paid for out of the pockets of working families. If you look at Austin, Chicago, Los Angeles, Seattle, all those cities have seen disappointing results. In Washington, D.C., for example, the revenues on the tax fee actually goes up, which means that the usage is still the same, if not more. The reality is that at least in Washington, D.C., the funds are there going to clean up the Anacostia River, but that's not what's happening over here. Under the bill that we're considering today, the fees that we're charging will instead be kept by store owners. And I really don't understand why we would give millionaire store owners even more money. A plastic bag costs a penny. At five cents, that's a 500% markup. This bill will actually be the most profitable item that a supermarket sells. And incidentally, that five cents is taxed. And using Barry's estimates at $100 million a year, the city's going to make over $8 million a year in taxes. I've run out of time, so I will conclude my remarks with just saying I respect my colleagues. I respect their intent. I respectfully disagree. And I'm going to vote no on intro 209 and yes on the rest. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you.